welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics 5th edition S. Timoshenko, D. H. Eng, J. V. Rao and Sukumar Party. In this tutorial we will solve problem set 2.2 .2 and problem number 2.20. Determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant of the four concurrent forces if each 445 newtons force is increases to 667.5 newtons. This is the given diagram. Now there are four forces. One force is 819 newtons acting downwards. Another force 1335 newtons force acting inclined. Another force acting towards left side but this is not 445 newtons. This value is 667.5 newtons. And the last force is inclined force. This is also not 445 newtons. This is increases to 667.5 newtons. To solve this problem, let us transfer all these forces onto xy axis. Let us draw our xy axis like this. Let this is my x axis and this is my y axis. I am transferring all those four forces onto this xy plane. First 819 newtons force I transferred which is acts vertically downwards. Now the next force is 667.5 newtons force acts towards left side along x axis. The next one is 667.5 newtons force it is an inclined force. And the last one is 1335 newtons force that is also inclined force. Now in order to solve this problem, first we need to identify the angles made by all the four forces along x and y axis. Now that 819 newtons force acts vertically y axis and that 667.5 newtons acts along x axis but it is in the towards left side. Coming to the other two forces, these two forces are inclined force and these angles with either x and y axis we don't know. So in the first step we need to identify angles made by these two forces. Let the angle made by that 667.5 newtons with the x axis is alpha. So this is my alpha. Now I would like to find that value of alpha. For that, let us consider the graph that is given in the problem itself. This 667.5 Newton's force is intersect the graph sheet here. And you can take the each one as one unit. Let us say this is one unit. Let us, let us, say, let us say this value is x. And so this is also equals to x. And this is x. So if you construct a right angle triangle here, I can calculate tan alpha that is x by 2x which is 26.56 degrees. That means this value is 26.56 degrees. Similarly, that 1335 Newton's force makes an angle beta let with the x axis. And that beta I can transfer like this. This is my beta. Now what is that beta? Just by extending the same concept, this 1335 Newton's force intersect the graph here. So I can construct a right angle triangle like this. So this is one unit, let us say this is x and this is another one x. So by using that right angle triangle concept, I can write tan beta is equal to x by x that is equal to 45 degrees. Or you can take this point as the intersecting point. So you can construct a right angle triangle here like this. Then this is x, this is x, this is x and this already x, this is x and this is x. And this angle is beta. So I can write my tan beta is equal to 3x by 3x that is equal to 1 or beta is equal to 45 degrees. 
So like that, you can calculate that beta value and that beta value is 45 degrees. Once you know the angles made by these forces with x and y axis, I can resolve all these forces into rectangular components along x axis and y axis. The concept of resolution of force into rectangular components, I prepared a separate, separate video. So please watch it in RK tutorials. Now let us discuss one by one that 819 Newton's force is acts along y axis. So you need not to resolve that. And that 667.5 Newton's force acting along x axis that also you need not to resolve. Now that 667.5 Newton's makes an angle 26.56 degrees with the x axis. So the horizontal component of that force direction will be like this vertical component of that force will be like this. And what is the magnitude of that force? The horizontal component of 667.5 Newtons is equal to 667.5 into cos 26.5. What is the reason? The 667.5 Newtons force makes an angle 26.56 degrees with the x axis. Hence, that x component will be the cos component. That becomes 667.5 into cos 26.56, which gives 597.06 Newtons. On the other hand, the vertical component of that 667.5 Newtons is 667.5 into sin 26.56, which gives 298.546 Newtons. Similarly, the 1335 Newtons force makes an angle 45 degrees with the x axis. So I can resolve this 1335 along x axis and y axis. The x component of the force will look like this and the y component of the force will be like this. And what about the magnitude? The magnitude of 1335 Newton's force along x axis that is horizontal component of 1335 that is equal to 1335 into cos 45 which gives the value of 943.98 and the vertical component of 1335 is equal to 1335 into sin 45 which gives 943.98 newtons. Now let us consider all these forces along x and y axis only that 819 newtons and 667.5 newtons these two forces are given. 890s acts along y axis and 667.5 newtons acting along x axis. For inclined 667.5 newtons force components are 298.46 and 597.06 and 1335 newtons force components are 943.98 and 943.98. Now let us calculate the net force along x axis. Now here you can see 597.06 and 943.98 these two forces are acting along positive direction of x axis. I will consider my positive x axis is towards right side and 667.5 newtons is acting towards left side. Hence net force along x axis is equal to 597.06 plus 943.98 minus 667.5 that gives the value of 873.54 Newtons. Similarly, net to force along y axis, I will consider the upside is my positive. Then, 890 Newtons acting downwards, 943.98 acting downwards, 298.46 acts upwards. Hence, net to force along y axis becomes 298.46 minus 943.98 minus 890 which gives the net to force along y axis becomes minus 1535.52 newtons. That means the net to force is acting in the downward direction. Hence the net to force direction is towards right side because my net to force is positive and that value is 873.54. Net to force along y axis is downwards because my net to force along y axis is negative and that value is 1535.52. By using the concept of 
the parallelogram law. I have prepared a video for parallelogram law. Please watch it in RK tutorials. The resultant of these two forces will be like this. And the magnitude of that resultant force R is equal to square root under 873.54 square plus 1535.52 square which gives the resultant force 1766.6 newtons. And let the angle made by the resultant force with the x axis is theta and the tan theta is given by the formula sigma Fy by sigma Fx. That is tan theta is equal to 1535.52 by 873.54 and tan theta is equal to 1.758 and theta is equal to 60.37 degrees.